eight. Hey, long time no see. Yeah, so I'm back. <laughs> nice, nice. You're back from holiday? Yeah, yeah. I had like a, a week or so. It was good. Did you travel somewhere or just stay around? Oh, no. There was a, a festival in Byron Bay that I went to. So oh. it was like a thing type thing. Right, right. I made a... Hey. Hi. It was a, a festival, some sort of music festival, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, it was uh, camping, like, like multiple days, that kind of thing. Yeah. Nice. I'm not uh, sure if... Uh... Bogdan's joining. I think he mentioned before that he's actually not uh, not gonna be able to join today, but uh, he's online. Um, so let me just check. Uh, I think that's the case because usually Bogdan's one of the first to to connect. So I guess we'll just get started like this. Uh, but uh, certainly there'll be stuff to discuss and uh, some things to get you up to speed which you might have missed. And it's been a it's been a while. And there's been things on the move and things on the horizon. So let me just prepare some of my uh, windows here on my computer. And I'm almost ready. All right, this is good. Just find the Aries, Aries uh, VCX big page and yeah, let's get started. Ah, we have uh, Nan as well. Hi, Nan. Hey. You're just getting started. You haven't missed anything, so. Uh, now that we are all here, let's kick this on. What is, um, yeah. Okay, so yeah, well, welcome to uh, July uh, 27, 2023, Aries VCX community call. Uh, Hyperledger Antitrust policy is in effect. And let's see what do we have on agenda, on agenda today. Uh, maybe before uh, there's uh, no new um, no new uh, new joiners. Uh, so uh, just before we start, uh, I want to make sure that we have everything listed down in our agenda. So uh, is there perhaps George or Nyan or Mira, uh, anything you would like to add here? Uh, nothing for me. Yeah, nothing for me. Oh, I don't think so. All right, uh, so uh, let's hop into the mem 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 mentorship update. So like since we have you on the call now once again, um, would you like to uh, 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 just uh, say a few words about your, your status and how, how things are going? Okay, um, so right now we are quite on track uh, in regards to the expected project plan that we had. And so currently uh, I'm in the storage parts uh, that's coming in nicely. Uh, the storage trade is being finalized 
and that's going to be ready by this week. The next parts are the integrate with Aries VCX and support establishing DRDCOM connections. So that's for later. Right now, the storage part is like it's coming to an end mostly. Mm. So I have the uh, understanding pickup protocol is done and designing trades is in process. Uh, MySQL implementation is being done in parallel with the designing of the trade. And yes, I'm also including unit tests along with all of this. So yeah, uh, the storage part is going to be done this week, hopefully. Mm -hmm. oh, sounds great. I think actually we could uh, go ahead here and uh, you know what, I'll, I'll leave it, I'll, I'll, I'll let you do it. Uh, I think it's kind of satisfying to make those check, tick those check boxes yourself. Yes. It's kind of rewarding. So I'm not going to do yes. this for you. I think I think you could actually check some of them. I mean, even perhaps like including RZCX as a project dependency, we, we kind of went through that and, and it compiles. Now it's just a matter of like initializing and actually start integrating it so there's still some work to do but yeah i think i think you can yeah you know and and don't don't worry to like uh basically jump ahead and you know uh you know um uh, check those uh tick those check boxes like ahead of in even in the like further stages if you happen to you know do something uh kind of earlier and also don't be worried like uh, you know for example the storage part like it doesn't have to be perfect i'm pretty sure that uh once you start like implementing further on you'll realize that there's something you missed and you need to store something more or you need some more methods so by, by no means this uh this needs to be like perfect like it's it's reasonable to assume that you will need to get back to it and probably make some changes to the storage later on Right. Yes. Also, uh, like I'm also uh, implementing the pickup protocol, uh, at least in the test server. So an un unauthenticated uh, implementation of the pickup protocol. So that's also coming in. I've already implemented the status uh, request. So right. ba basically now. like stage six, kind of like uh, sprinting ahead a little bit, but which is great, of course. Right, I, I guess you could actually check something from from the stage six. At uh, at, at this point. Yes. So in that we have uh, into Aries VCX message crate. So that part is in there. Like it's it's uh, more of a dummy uh, data model inside this test server. So yeah, I haven't checked that because of that. But mm. the implementation responding to the status request uh, that um like is being done right now. So right. you can send in requests and receive a response. So that is being there. Like mm -hmm. that is there. Sounds great. All right, looking forward. Uh, it's exciting to see, see you progressing. Uh, it's really great. Uh, I think you're doing well. Uh, jo George, how's uh, perhaps, since we don't have uh, swap on the call, no? Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, have no kind of uh, update how uh, you know how the FFI stuff is going? Yeah, um, you want to click on the project plan? Oh yeah, for sure. Cheers. Um, if you scroll down to the timeline. Um. Yeah. So where's it at? Um. So Swabnil has a PR open. Um, and that PR is basically the script for building um all the android binaries and building the um uh the generated wrappers and placing them into the right place uh within a sample app that he's working on um last time i, I spoke with him uh, he had the sample app bootstrapped um and the the script working um there was some build things we had to work through uh, as you'd expect but um got through that um yeah and uh, haven't yet seen the full thing of the sample app um calling into uh aries vcx because that was sort of the the main goal but mm. the two pieces definitely exist <laughs> mm -hmm. um 
Yeah, I didn't have a chance to catch up with uh, Swapnil this week. Um, if you if you saw in our discussion channel. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm thinking next week that sample app uh, will be there and ready and that PR can go through. Mm, I see. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I was wondering as well, is that sort of uh, how you guys wanted things to go, um, sort of incremental PRs for this mediator project? Oh, for the... yeah, I, I think like uh, I'm 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 personally a fan of like incremental changes. Uh, so I think that's fine. We can like merge the stuff which was done if it's like uh, I don't know. I guess if it holistically kind of if it does something holistically, if it builds and compiles, right? It doesn't have to be like fully complete, but uh, but I guess like the, the if it kind of makes sense that the things started in that PR were kind of finished, then I would uh, be fine merging it and then making another PR for like next steps and next. I, I see you kind of have outlined like these PRs ahead of time for like different features. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, I think, I think that's a good plan. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I think it's actually preferable to large PRs. Mm, um, then it's uh, much, much easier to review and to see uh how how the progress is going so okay great awesome thanks all right uh let's get back to the agenda so uh so a quick overview of the work done uh, nothing like really significant i think uh the, the Node.js migration PR, which was previously merged, has been reverted because it was causing some build issues. Uh, I'll, I'll get back to those uh, build issues while I'll be talking about stuff in progress I'm kind of working on now. Uh, there was some clean, th th we have deleted the mixed beard, mixed breed test profile. So uh, we have like significant coverage with all kinds of combinations of the profiles and Things have kind of imp the the testing uh, coverage and the infrastructure kind of improved since the mixed breed uh, was invented. Uh, so don't see don't deem it necessary anymore. So we got this deleted, kind of cleaned up a little bit all the testing features, and then lastly another kind of cleanup uh, slash refactoring uh, was this PR. It was mostly shuffling the files around to uh, to move stuff out of this like general source slash indie directory into either Anoncreds, Ledger, or as a, a, a typo here, or Wallet, uh, as uh, as to kind of make it clear like what are we gonna be deleting and what not. Because uh, for now we're gonna we're gonna be we want to keep the the in VDR tools wallet so they will stay, and then we'll be progressively deleting these other two parts. And right now we are starting with deleting the ledger, and I guess once that is completed, we'll go ahead and um, and uh, get rid of the unknown credits as well. But I suppose the wallet will live for a bit longer until we have some um, I guess Oscar alternative. Um, yeah, so this was this was done here. There was also, yeah, I think, I think you noticed some some issues with, with this PR. We merged it. I want to apologize here. We merged it kind of uh, prematurely, I guess. We didn't wait for George to to um, to uh, like have his review. Um, yeah, you've deleted some. Uh, uh, you have like adjusted a, a step in the CI which checks uh, builds with various combinations of feature flags. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know what you mean. Uh, yeah. What, why? Indeed, apologies. Well, we'll get yeah, it. I have missed it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Why yeah. did you do that? uh i don't know exactly right now on the spot why i did that uh i think yeah i had some like issues i i actually deemed it as a necessary but uh, i don't i can't reason about it right now i remember i'll have to take a look mm. uh i guess because yeah i was also doing some changes to the features 
features in the on the VDR tools level to make uh, to uh, to enable compiling in uh, in the wallet without zero MQ dependency. And then somehow, uh, I guess I was tweaking some some of our own cargo tomos, and I came to conclusion that like. Um, some feature apparently i came to conclusion that some default feature is necessary but uh let me have a quick look if if it makes any sense so yeah i did this was literally just kind of a refactoring this didn't make any functional change i believe and is there any other feature changes i did perhaps i was doing some other changes and which I revert, which I reverted, and for those I have originally kind of had to adjust the CI, but maybe it doesn't really apply anymore. So yeah, I'll, I'll have a look so, at this yeah. as possible and mm. try to get it back if, if 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 we can. Yeah, it's 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 no worries. It was sort of a coincidence that I uh, had a look after it was merged and noticed it, but um, hopefully you understand the intentions of those checks. Um, they, yeah, I put them in after there was an issue with compiling for only modular libs and without the default features because VDR mm. tools is our default feature. Um, and and personally, the way we consume it is in that manner, just modular libs without VDR tools. Um, so, yeah, I was just mm. putting a check in to make sure nothing gets regressed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a it's a good catch, and uh, I mean the features are supposed to be additive, so definitely should compile without default features. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Uh, all right. So. Yeah. So I guess that's for the PRs which have been merged since the last week, and then in the progress. Uh, uh, there's an uh, ongoing effort to pioneer the exchange protocol and like with kind of with the, the making it iOS and applying the state pattern from Mira. Uh, I, I, I don't know if you want to drop any comment about it, Mira, or uh, or oh, I would not I would not say pioneer. There are already existing implementations for a while, but yeah, in a, in a sense. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I have I have in progress a um, prototype implementation, let's say, and yeah, uh, I've per perhaps I said it recently on on this call. I'm not sure. I I'm uh, basically using ATH to test the correctness of the prototype implementation, and um, yeah, recently recently I did support for. Uh, did key as a recipient key in out of band, out of band invitation uh, as, as defined uh, in the RFC. Uh, we previously or currently are using, because it's not merged yet, uh, using just a naked base 58 encoded uh, ED25519 uh, key. And so, uh, yeah. After this fix, basically, uh, this the current status is that uh, the Akapai fails either as a as a responder on uh, on receipt of uh, request because the request that Eris VCX currently sends in the uh, exchange protocol uses did peer, and um, Akapai does not support uh, did peers on the main branch yet. And and uh, similarly, it, it when it's a requester, it fails on receipt on receipt of response uh, again with the same with the same issue. Now these 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 fish, issues can be overcome by simply not sending it here, um, which like would not be, uh, require too many changes to the implementation. So I can do that to test uh, whether uh, something else breaks down the line, but I don't think so. Uh, no, there is not much that, that can fail after after uh, 
Well, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, so th th this is the current status. Um, I would say that like overall, I think it's going according to to plan in a sense, like the testing so far confirmed uh, my suspicions as to what needs to be implemented mm. uh, and discovered some issues with the current state of the RCCX code base and uh, needs things that need to be either refactored or implemented from scratch. Uh, things like uh, JWS signing, uh, which Akapai, as I confirmed, uh, that does that does use JWS signatures, so we we should uh, also uh, support JWS signing and uh, signature verification. Uh, yeah, and there are m many many things like like this, mm -hmm. um, um, things which are complicating um, the implementation that such as the legacy like document. Um, which basically, if, if I'm trying to like localize the usage of the new D document uh, implementation in the D exchange document uh, implementation, it uh, it forces me either to be copy pasting stuff or using converters mm. between the old and new versions of the document, which is error prone uh, and so. Like bloating the code, um, code code size. It's not uh, it's not pleasant to look at at all. So mm. um, yeah, but perhaps we can deal with it temporarily. Um, yeah. Um, so what I would like do is or what my plan going on is to finish off this prototype implementation just to uh eat well first of all i would like to try to run the akapai branch uh with the working uh, did peer implementation locally this would also significantly uh speed up my my mm, uh, feedback loop, let's say, because yeah, I wouldn't have to rebuild the images and stuff. Mm. So, um, and I, I would like to test uh, using peer dates in the in the exchange on our side. If that fails, I will I will add support for for the uh, for the legacy pairwise pairwise dates um, and. And and finish off basically the uh, a working uh, working impl implementation which passes the ATH test against Akapai in itself, and then use this prototype implementation as a reference for uh, a final more. Uh, uh, well, I would I would f finish this prototype implementation uh, and then work on work on the issues that came up um as, as i was saying like there are there are many many smaller build tasks that need to be done and then i would i would proceed with with the final implementation of the data exchange protocol after mm -hmm. these things are implemented so that's it's sounds not good and sounds good and sounds like a, like a well thought through and uh laid out plan all right um so that's uh the exchange status and uh then we have ah uh, yeah so this is the task i'm currently working on uh is the is a a, a switch from from vdr tools ledger clients to in the vdr implementation and uh, the issue is I have the PR ready and technically it works, but it doesn't work fully and everywhere. And not, not that it doesn't work, but it does, just doesn't compile yet fully. 
in all of the environments. So if I look at the uh, CI right now, basically I'm getting failures for uh, when I compile stuff on Alpine Linux. So that's a MUS little target. Um, and then also on Android and iOS for the VCX. And it all fails with compilation of 0MQ, 0MQ uh, sys 011. It's the same failure everywhere. Uh, now it's it's a difficult, uh, it's relatively difficult to reproduce the iOS build and Android builds, uh, but it's much easier to just uh, kick up uh, Alpine Linux instance and try to compile the stuff in there. So I reproduced this error in container, which is like, I think, great first step to actually identifying what the problem is. Um, yeah, it's hard to tell from this error, honestly. It's some, some, some compiler issue. It's CLang, Clang, and um, yeah, well, well, you'd have to find what uh, well, the issue and the fix is for this, but it should be relatively doable now once that I have it reproduced locally, essentially. And so I, I'm I'm hoping that the same fix, which will apply for this uh, Alpine Linux, will also work for iOS and Android. Um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, but in general, this PR, uh, which is yet lacking description, it's removing all of the ledger slash pool related code uh, from LiveVDR tools. So essentially leaving LiveVDR LiveVDR tools to cover only uh, wallet and anon creds. So it's on uh, 20,000 code lines of code <laughs> deleted. And uh, obviously I had to do like a tweaks um, on like R, you know, in, in Aries VCX as well. So then everywhere we would use actually um, the, the NDVDR um, client. Um, yeah, that was, that was relatively all right. And then um, the tests are passing. When the, if the things compile, apparently all tests are passing. So that's good. Um, Sorry, Patrick, was the yeah. Android and iOS build working? Yeah, no, no, they they don't. The LiveVCX Android models. Okay, but uh, it seems like the same root root cause. Okay. Do you have any thoughts by a chance? It's a zero MQ issues. Um. Uh, I'll I'll look at it. Um, I mean, I, I've done it before, like. Uh, have it working on Android and iOS, so maybe mm. some config thing that can help you. Um, yeah, I'll need to have. A look. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. It's just some configuration. It it feels everywhere a little bit differently, but at the same time, it feels like it's the same thing. But I don't know what it is. It's always felt with the zero MQCs, but as you see, the error messages a bit different. Um, errors occurred. Um, is there anything useful in this one? Here, I don't really even see the error, really. I, I'm not sure. It fails when it runs CMake, and mm, yeah, I don't know what the problem is. Mm. Yeah, so hopefully this will be like un 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 unblocked soon and then it can be merged and we can like get rid of like huge, uh, huge uh, burden we carried this uh, LibVDR tools. Mm, yeah, it's an awesome, awesome effort. Sorry? Sorry, I think my internet's bad, but I was just saying it's an awesome effort. 19,000 oh, yeah. lines. <laughs> yeah, well, it was, it was actually like... Uh... Just you know, a bunch of delete buttons, but um, yeah. uh, but then the, the integration of the Aries VCX it, it takes a bit of effort to glue it up to make it work, but it's 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 good. So one well, maybe one more note here. Essentially, after this PR, uh, the the after this PR is merged, uh, the VDR tools feature 
it essentially only refers to Anon Creds implementation as the ledger will be always in the VDR and the wallet is kind of uh, currently always the the indie one so the vdr tools feature flag is will essentially only refer as to whether you want the anon credits from the vdr tools so i guess it makes sense then to actually rename the flag to something like anon credits uh vdr tools perhaps hey just a general question while it's in my head and maybe we can mm. put this to the discussion at the end if you want but um, after VDR tools is stripped of non-creds as well, um, are we going to keep the traits for you know ledger and non-creds, et cetera? Um, I I believe so. Yeah, I, I think okay. it's good. Uh, I want. What, what do you think, Mira? Um, I don't. I don't. I'm not entirely sure either way. I I was. I have been going back and forth on this. Mm -hmm. um i think that bogdan is uh, was saying something against those traits and one was wanted to get rid of them i, I think it's um, uh, i think and that, i think that was your argument mira uh um, it was also my argument yeah i was for a while i was a proponent of them and then i wanted to get rid of them i, I i'm not i, I don't know yet yeah, 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 but I, I know it, like one of your arguments for like uh, uh, as a proponent for it uh, was the mocking, and and I think that's a good argument that you can mock mm. now the ledger implementation essentially with with mm. this. Mm. Yeah, so I guess we'll see. But in my opinion, I think it makes sense. What, what do you think, George? Should the trade? Yeah, stay? yeah, I'm I'm for keeping them. Um, I need to think about exactly what my argument is but at the moment i'm for keeping them <laughs> yeah who, who knows if we need to <laughs> migrate to something else in the future and then it might be the, uh, being uh, shielded off from all the um, kind of specific dependencies underneath yeah yeah it might save us from that i mean i think everyone was pretty sure on indie sdk and then it got dumped <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay, and then uh, lastly, there's like this um, a new effort ongoing from Bogdan's Bogdan. We don't have Bogdan on the call, but essentially, uh, just so I'm not gonna probably fully represent it uh, as 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 good as he would. Uh, but the idea is, and I think there's there. So there's a PR. I think where Bogdan started working on this. It's so, it's addition type of PR, so uh, so uh, no no worries about breaking stuff. Uh, where is it? I guess it's this one. So the ultimate idea is to build additional layer on top of state machines. Um, but Bogdan here started with uh, copying out the state machine uh, connection state machine in particular and. Then he wants to actually do some changes on the on the state machine, uh, make it somewhat uh, uh, flatter or thinner, and then take that logic out to this uh, a processing uh, layer, where essentially it should handle even more stuff for you than the state machines originally did. Uh, where you imp you kind of supply the, the main thing you have to supply uh, is a storage for your state machines and resolver for state machines. So then when you receive a message, you pass this message to this process processing layer. And along with the message, you also pass in your storage where your state machines are stored. And uh, uh, a state machine resolver where the state machine resolver essentially takes a look at the message um, and tries to find respective state machines in the storage and once that the state machine is found you know it's it's uh, updated to process the message uh, do the necessary IO and uh, 
know, if if the if the state machine update is successful, that essentially is, you know, uh, re-serialize the, the new state machines into the storage. So then as a consumer of this layer, you you have like less things to worry about. You don't have to concern yourself with how to, you know, you don't necessarily concern yourself with parsing out like thread IDs uh, from the message to find it in the storage. This, this layer should kind of handle it for you. That's uh, that's frankly my understanding of the, the in, intention here. Is it is it almost just a full agent implementation? It's uh, I guess it's not like agent, but um, uh, well. Wouldn't is planning something along those lines, no? I, I wouldn't call it agent because I think in 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 actual agent you have to do still maybe a lot more logic than simply updating a state machine. Like that's like really bare minimum. When you receive a message, the bare minimum you gonna do with it is update the state machine and see if that transition goes further. Uh, but in practice, in, in in real agent, you might have to do like a lot more things, in my opinion. Uh, so it should be just kind of, I guess, a, a logic which tends to get duplicated in agents, indeed. But then people don't have to like reduplicate the kind of same issues, uh, solving the same issue everywhere as to as to, you know, kind of uh, inspecting the message and take, thinking what message it is and where the, sto where, where the state machine, uh, which state machine to load up. Um, that being said, it's, I, I think it's, it, it's kind of experimental. So we'll just see how it goes and if it proves to be useful and uh, then we'll assess it further. Cool. That's that's pretty cool. Do you know if the intention is to uh for us to provide both options, like the raw state machines and also this higher level handler? Uh, uh sorry, can you come again? Um is the intention long term if this goes through? Um, is it to are, are we gonna support both of these paradigms, you know, the paradigm where the consumers dealing with state machines themselves and all of that uh and also this higher level where they don't have to directly deal with them uh, yeah i think i'm not 100 percent sure how that will place out yet uh i think bogdan's ideals um because the, the, this processing layer it has impact on on the on on what is re like the assumption as to what people gonna be using, whether they gonna be using the state machines or, or they will just, or or if ninety percent people would just rather go with this processing layer, then it has mm -hmm. impact on the like the overall design, right? So then, if if um, under the assumption that people actually wants to use this processing layer, then the state machines API and the way to work with it can can be actually like a lot uglier perhaps like because it wouldn't care maybe that it would be like very very technical api or like you would have to inject lots of stuff or something like that but then yeah but if you assume that people some people will use the this processing layer and some people just want to use state machines and have a more control over over stuff and they don't want to like implement i know this these storage traits we have to inject to the processing layer they want to be less constrained then yeah then i think you in in that paradigm we would have to make sure that the state machine design is like still somewhat user friendly even if not as simple as this processing layer that's mm -hmm. my thinking about it cool yeah agreed
Awesome. Would you, I mean, I, I know like my introduction to this like was fairly poor and simplistic, I, I'm sure. Uh, since since it's kind of a, a, a Bogdan's idea, he would uh, do better job explaining presenting this. But uh, just just kind of from what I told you, um, are we able to envision like? Do you think you would go with something like that, uh, or would you want to just consume the the you know the state machines as as you did they, to as you do do today without much changes? um it uh, i'd need to see the full implementation I, i guess it really depends on how much control this implementation is taking because um, mm -hmm. uh, yeah I, i mean personally i don't i don't mind the state machines <laughs> mm -hmm. especially after the the rework um they'll be even better right um, but I, i agree that probably most consumers would prefer this higher level interface or api hmm. yeah okay so yeah, we'll, we'll see i i guess right now there's not much to look at it's literally just kind of copy of the state machine but with some changes apparently oh yeah there is a state machine storage here uh there is something drafted new protocols mod rs uh, but yeah i think it's not uh kind of complete yet and i think it will be better if bogdan makes introduction so you can also uh, provide some informed opinion maybe we can have uh, an, another se session uh, somewhere else uh, so we don't have to wait for the for the next week just to kind of share the idea with you and I'm, i'm very curious what's what's your thoughts on it mm, yeah yeah for sure very really good all right uh Yeah, that being said, that's uh, the stuff which is in a progress right now. Um, uh, we have paused. Oh, yeah, maybe one more update. So we paused uh, migration to Anon creds as uh, we identified essentially some like complications and and uh, some work we could uh, identify some work we could actually contribute to Anon creds prior to attempting to integrate it so um uh yeah we will be joining in uh, upcoming weeks we'll start joining anoncreds rs anoncreds uh anoncreds uh board group calls on mondays um and yeah start kind of uh collaborating with the folks from that area And then once we feel that things are kind of ready and maybe we better understand the future plans uh, of Anon creds and uh, then we'll be more comfortable uh, proceeding with the credx to Anon creds uh, migration. Uh, do you, can you say exactly what it is that needs updating or isn't ready? Uh, so... Uh, the most challenging part actually uh is for the issuer uh the the, the main difference between credx and anon creds rs is uh around how revocation uh how revocation works where in uh in credx and like in the world you have this revocation deltas And you can put those on the ledger, but in Anon creds world, in the like generalized Anon creds, the other ledgers, other ledgers, when we are, you know, in, in turn, since the Anon creds are striving to be uh, ledger agnostic, the other ledgers typically don't have this like cadered capability to store revocation deltas like in the in the ledger does. And so for other ledgers, the implementation uh, typically goes just by publishing the like entire state of the revocation list rather than just Delta. So we just kind of put the current state of the, the revocation list. And, and in order to like um, mm, support these differences, yeah, they had to do The things are a bit different in in Anacrens RS, and it's it's a bit uh, tricky. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's challenging to um, 
to integrate that uh, without forking out the stuff and forking, you know, creating alternative Anon creds in interface implementation. And there's also challenges that they, uh, I know, well, one of the challenges is also that the ledger interface is returning uh, like indie types, but then Anon creds, um, in Anon creds, you are working with these generic, you know, Anon creds types. And so you resolve something on the ledger, but you cannot really pass. It's, it's a different type from different library. You cannot really pass it to the Anon creds library unless you somehow convert it. And Bogdan have done this like uh, kind of POC and I, it, I didn't fully review it, but from his, uh, just from his description, uh, you know, it, it kind of worked, but it was like work around and work around. And uh, he just he just made it P PR for a future reference, but not really with intention to get it merged right now. Patrick, uh, um, you said you were talking about the revocation list, uh, having mm -hmm. to having to uh, pass the whole revocation list, Um this. Uh, is actually not um, subject to to change, um, or is it? Yeah, yeah, it, it's not. I mean, that's just one yeah. of the challenging parts. It's a complication, it's but yeah. But George was George was, I think, asking uh, what mm. what needs to be changed. So uh, this yeah, yeah. is yeah. So just to be clear, yeah, yeah. It's it just that yeah, this was like challenging part, like which will stay challenging uh, probably, and we'll have to think about it. But in in conjunction with those other mm. issues that different types and and stuff like that uh it, it was like even more difficult and and additionally like as Bogdan was like uh kind of trying to integrate it he found some of the apis in our uh, credits like uh that they could be designed better and so we had a session with uh Steven Curran and uh some other people and uh, we agree that we'll essentially start contributing to Anon Creds to make things a little bit better for the Rust native, you know, consumers of the Anon Creds library. Mm -hmm. So we want to do these preliminary improvements first before we actually try to do the integration. Yeah, so we are um, yet to schedule a meeting with uh, Andrew Whitehead and other maintainers of Anon Creds RS, which we uh, plan to do. Uh, correct. That was one of the outcomes of the meetings of the meeting yeah, last yeah, week. Yeah. That's right. Uh, yeah. And also uh, we kind of committed in, in like further communication uh, that we will uh, get a PR in uh, with some, or Bogdan, Bogdan said that uh, in, a, in a mail that uh, we will get a PR in by the end of next week approximately with with some suggested changes we can then uh, discuss perhaps further. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks for explaining that. Um, mm -hmm. Do you know mm -hmm. AFJ, are they using CredX or non creds? I think the uh, perhaps just Reese, I think I saw something. I was like listening through PRs. I think so. I saw something about Anon Creds RS. So mm, per, I'm not sure what's the status. I think they have some implementation, but uh, given that I, I I don't really know AFG state, just just like a total assumption here. But given the fact that they are more mobile focused, I think there's not really like you know issue production use cases. So. Perhaps mm. it's a bit easier for them because they might be able to afford kind of do, do more breaking changes on the issuer side. But I don't know. I'm just I'm just uh, totally guessing and assuming here. Yep. Yep. Cool. Um. Well, that 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 got me thinking. Uh, I was wondering if, uh, by any chance, we could actually, if we if we separate out the um, those issuer and issuer and holder uh, 
trades, unknown creds trades, if we could perhaps actually support unknown creds for mobile, because it might be easier. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Just uh, brainstorming thought, maybe. Well, regarding splitting the trades, I thought that's the assumption, or or like that. That's that, that's the. Um, if we are going to keep the trades, then we we will split them and uh, definitely adjust them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, mm. but then yeah, th then we could have some features, right? And you could perhaps for approver and holder, maybe you could opt into the unknown creds version, but still there is a problem with the types and you would have to do some sort of conversions uh, to kind of make it work. And it might be might be awkward implementation. It's easier to do these things in, in, in JavaScript or, or Python. When you, don't have, you don't have a hard types and when they are just look the same, but they are different types, then you have a work with it. Yeah, I, I have done um, like the base and on creds trade, the, the, the prover uh, and holder methods um, using a non creds RS. Um, mm. and I, I do remember like the annoying part of having to convert between the revocation status list and, and deltas. And I sort of just copied the AFJ implementation. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, as you say, not the issue of parts, they're probably much more difficult. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So I think we'll take a, a little bit more time to to put put focus on this. But for now, I'll stay with Credex. And this is uh, post for, for now. And uh, we're actually uh, busy with this other, other things. Um, do you, George? Do, do you uh, sense uh, like is, is there a motivation or reason for you or business need to switch to unknown credits uh, rather than you know being on credits or is it rather just like uh, that it feels right or is there like you know concrete reason why you want to use unknown credits? Um, a, a reason that that we did it. Um... Uh, I don't know, I, I sort of took a whim that everyone was moving towards a non-creds RS and um, went for using that instead. Mm, of the, right. The implementation. right, but it, it actually like Akapai, I think the main Akapai release, uh, it's, I know they merged recently, uh, like some also in Akapai, some non-creds integration, but... Uh, but I believe that even Akapai, like maybe the last release or so, is uh, actually still running on Credix. So it just kind of like around this time, it seems like all these frameworks around the summer are now trying switching or uh, trying to switch. Well, we are trying to switch to Unknown Credits, but mm -hmm. uh, it, it's relatively fresh. I, I think we are not uh, far behind as uh, uh, things been run running on Credix and. Uh, and uh, Credex uh, is like still uh, getting like security updates and stuff, whereas uh, VDR tools is not. So, mm -hmm. so Credex is, I think, still like all right implementation. But yeah, definitely like uh, like uh, mid term, long term, will will be moving there, and that's definitely intention. And want to uh, follow the the specification, which is uh, ledger agnostic. Yeah, yeah, I think I think Akapa is definitely the big consumer of Credex, and they're sort of pushing a lot of the updates. I think um, mm. I, I think recently they uh, put the effort to get rid of Ursa, um, and I, I think they've done it already and moved to the like the standalone Ursa CL signatures. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's with the new Credex release. I, actually, we mm -hmm. should uh, probably. Oh, that's that's actually. Uh, uh, I guess um, a to do work. We should do rather sooner than later. Uh, we should update the uh, Credex version to the latest release, which contains some some updates. I think that's zero four, but um, zero four or is one point oh? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure, but. Uh, it uh, shouldn't be too as, as far as I know it on the rust level there is not really a breaking changes I think so it, it should be rather smooth 
Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's a that might that might resolve a lot of dependency issues with um oh yeah because it was like taken that. Ursa, right? And now it doesn't. Yeah. And Ursa had lots of bloat in it, kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, this might be really good. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's right. And I think also once we trim off the VDR tools, get rid of the zero MQ there, again, the, the some of these uh, dependency issues can be, again, mitigated and, and solved. Mm. Sure. All right. Uh, yeah, so that's 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 it. Node.js VDR tools uh, to create world migration. Yeah, this is currently paused due to the CI build issues, but it's being worked on. Upcoming work, state pattern. Yep, that's like uh, that's a that's a long story kind of uh, um, uh, issue. And well, yeah, we are. It's not really upcoming. It is upcoming, but at the same time, we are working on it. Um, and in conjunction now with this processing layer, which may like shuffle things around. Let's see. We, we should have a, a, a call all of us together with uh, with Bogdan as well. And then the CLI demo. Um, that's uh, I guess that's like open task for anyone anyone to pick up. I, I was actually thinking, uh, Nayan, you know, if you, it it can actually be like uh, interesting uh, task for you, or maybe for, even for Swapnil, uh, I guess, uh, to to kind of um, see see how um, how to use RSVCX. Basically, the the. The idea here we want to do is implement this uh, simple demo where you when you run two, you know, in CLI, you run two windows. One the window starts like Alice, we all call her Alice agent, and then a Faber agent. And then they establish DITCON connection together, you know, using the, the connection state machine, which you'll be actually using, and just exchange some message. and perhaps then integrate more protocols but but uh yeah it's 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 kind of uh open task for 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 anyone so if you would like to pick it up maybe after you gain a little bit of experience with rsv6 in in the mediator then you, you know you can feel free to actually take it if you'd like to mm -hmm. okay I, um... yeah I'll I'll provide more info and uh, you know don't don't feel any pressure. It's not like you need to do it. And just out there for anyone, in, including you or or Swapnil or anyone else. Uh, yeah, and that's I guess it. We didn't have any more topics. We took the whole hour for this meeting actually. So I I didn't expect we would, but we did. Uh, so. Um, Thank you. Thank you all for joining and have a great rest of the week. So you too. You too. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Good day.